Draco here. Yes, so as you can tell, I'm back again with another video this week. Uh, slight issue is that I have not got any more collectibles uh, currently at this house. Um, all my collectibles, all my statues and big pieces that I like showing off, they're all in a box still in London. Um, which I have yet to have gone back to collect. So... Um, there's two videos, there's going to be my collection overview, which is where I go for another genre of movies. Also, there's going to be uh, this video, which you can tell by the title. Uh, this is going to be a three-part series, though. Um, basically, it's going to be my... Okay, just, just for the record, this is my opinion on these. These are not what I'm saying, are ironclad. These are just the ones that I'd recommend the most. These are the ones that I'd, I'd like volunteer out. Um, and just personally, my top ten favorite from each each category of this. So this episode is going to be my top ten favorite full frame three D Blu rays. The next episode will be my top ten favorite letterbox, and then the third video, which will be in two weeks' time, will be my top 10 favorite IMAX 3D Blu-rays. And I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, I was gonna do all three genres in this one video, but I thought one, it'd be a bit long. Two, trying to, because a lot of my favorites are all within the same genre. And by showing it all in one category, I might as well just show my whole Blu-ray shelf and just pinpoint which ones are which. Uh, but I don't wanna do that. So yeah, I've got my top 10 favorites. Uh, the list may have changed over th over the past few years. Uh, it looks pretty much the same to me, apart from there's like one or maybe two new additions. Now, I haven't arranged them into my top, like number one favourite to my, like my number ten. Um, you guys know which one my favourite one is anyway, uh, which you'll see here. So, they're in no particular order. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through them now. And then, yeah. And then I'll explain why they're my favourite. Okay, so. The first one up is the animated Beauty and the Beast. Um, this is just one of the most beautiful Disney 3D releases. This is actually still my favourite Disney 3D classic release. It's better than Lion King. Um, Tangled is good, but this... This just has everything that 3D is supposed to offer for a 3D movie. And this is the one that Disney did right. Uh, as you guys know, Disney has a lot of hit and miss titles. Uh, some are really good, some are really bad. This is just 100% the best Disney 3D release that they've ever done. You get the beautiful 50% of in-depth where the scenes stretch out for miles. And then you get the beautiful 50% pop-out where... The beauty doesn't just leave in the center of the screen. It leaves into the center of your living room. And you can just, you can feel like, for example, the glass casing with the rose. You know, you could feel like you could lift the lid off and take the rose. It's, it's just amazing. So, yeah, this is my, my most recommended Disney 3D release. If people want to find out how good Disney can do 3D when they do it right, this is it. I'm using my microphone again, by the way. Haven't used this in a long time. Next up, Avengers Assemble, or in the US it's just the Avengers. Um, yeah, this is, uh, yet again, just fantastic full frame 3D. 50-50 uh, in-depth and pop-out. And it was nice to see this uh, in 3D, because I'm in the small majority that think that uh, the, the two Thor 3D Blu-rays, Iron Man 3D... And both Captain America 3D Blu-rays, the the first and the Winter Soldier, they got crap 3D. They're not that great. They're okay watchable, but they still seem quite flat. They're not as good. The in-depth's quite minimal. The pop-out's very minimal. This was the first Marvel 3D Blu-ray that did a movie justice. Um... It's it's just a beautiful piece of art to see the Marvel Universe in all its glory. And that's what this is. 
you know. Um, and uh, like for example, when Lo uh, when Loki's in space, like where he's projected his spirit into space to talk to the aliens, you know, you get to see all the nice like curvatures and the space is all in depth. When the hole opens, you can tell the difference between Earth and the planet and, and space. The the aliens coming through, uh, the three D is just fantastic for that. But as you guys know, my favorite three D Blu Ray is still Yu Gi Oh Bonds Beyond Time. Uh, this is just also basically all these. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Uh, but yeah, all of these are exact. This is why I chose these. All these top ten are fifty fifty in depth and pop up. They're all fantastic. The reason this one is my favorite is because this is the one that shocked me the most. Because um, from what I was hearing all online was how crap and gimmicky the 3D was. How it was like a cheap 3D effect. There wasn't even real 3D in it. But then when I watched this, it blew my mind. Um, yeah, this is the one that... No matter who the person is, anyone buys a 3D system, the first movie I recommend that they watch in 3D is this. Next up is a new one that I got recently that shocked me as well. I got it quite cheap. I think it was like £2.50. And um, it's by a company that hasn't let me down with 3D ever. And it is Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Yeah, I picked this up along with another 3D movie, Pompeii, and just wow. <laughs> uh, it was that good that it made my top 10 favorite 3D full frame Blu rays. <laughs> Next up is another one that I talked about a lot um, and I will consistently love for the rest of my life because it's not just a beautiful 3D movie, but it's a beautiful story as well um hugo just just fantastic next up is the first one out of a out of a two set series of movies um the second one is is just well it, it's it's close to being just as good but it's not quite there it's missing something from that one this is still the best version of it journey to the center of the earth um you get some amazing 3D when you first start out, you know, like when he's brushing his teeth and he spits into the, into the toilet bowl, into the sink, and you see the water come out, and then with the yo-yo, and you get some good 3D off straight off the start. So, um, I mean, even the, the little scaraby bug be beetle thing, you know, r literally right at the beginning when the bug crawls onto the screen, and as he turns around, his antenna sticks straight out of the screen and just look at you. Like, it, it's just one of those that start off straight away. Next one is a movie that it was done by the the legend, the best master of 3D that I've ever seen, James Cameron, and it is Avatar. This was, um, I think when it was first released in cinemas, it wasn't released in 3D, it was just released standardly, and people didn't like it, and then he re-released it in 3D, and everyone who hated it changed their minds and fell in love with it, because they. this is the point that I like making, is... 3D does not improve a story, but it improves your feel of the story. Because when you get when you get a movie like this, which is all about like like planet exploration and cultural exploration, and you see all these neon colors and big like forest scenes, and when you get that, with that when you're not watching it in 3D, you feel like you're missing some of the magic that the movie was trying to give you. When you're watching it in 3D and you see those little pink things start flying around your living room out of the screen. You feel the magic Cameron was trying to give. And that's why this, yeah. That's not just in my top 10 favorite full frame. It's in my top 10 favorite 3D Blu-rays of all time. Next up is another one that shocked me and my partner Alice. We both didn't expect this to be good. We thought this was going to be quite bad. But we bought it for a laugh. And it was quite surprising. Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor. We were both shocked on how amazing this was. Because when it starts out with... Um, I think it starts out with the, the scene for the Battle of Gallifrey. 
and it was the Daleks and you see the Daleks flying around space and one of the Daleks was sticking out of the screen while the others were flying deeply back into the TV and we were like wow and then I mentioned it before there's a scene where uh, the 11th Doctor Matt Smith he walks up to a painting called the, uh, the Fall of Gallifrey and when he's looking at the painting because Gallifreyan paintings are in-depth images not only are you looking through the screen into this museum office, you're already getting that in-depth, but you're getting a second amount of in-depth by looking into this 3D painting, and it's just fantastic. It's a good feel. This one is a conversion that was done, and it's probably the best conversion to ever be made. And I'm so happy they did this. Jurassic Park. This movie came out the year I was born. Um, so it holds that that place in my heart plus it's one and probably the only best dinosaur movie I can't think of a dinosaur movie that's better than this to be fair and I've seen quite a few but this is the ultimate if you wanted to watch any movie involving dinosaurs this is the one you go to um, and the conversions usually suck but this proves that if they're done right they can make the home watching experience beautiful and the last one I'm pretty sure people were expecting to see already but it's here um, and this is the first I watched this uh, 3D Blu-ray on my original 3D TV that I've still got my 32 inch but then when I bought a 51 inch active 3D TV this was the first movie I watched on that and I loved it even more Pacific Rim, this is just a beautiful artwork. <laughs> um, not the sleeve, the movie. <laughs> um, the sleeve, the sleeve, the sleeve's nice. I like Gypsy Danger on the front. But I mean, like, it's not just a movie, it's an art form. And people may say, oh, it's not, you know, Del Toro's proper, like, masterpiece movies. It's just something with his name stamped on it. I still felt the Del Toro vibe to this. And this is exactly what Power Rangers and Transformers all should be. Because this, yet again, it's in the same league as Avatar. It's when you're expecting to see movies like this with the designs that they give and the scenery. Like when they're walking along the ocean, when they're in Tokyo, the battle scenes when they're under the water, when it seems like that, that you're expecting to see, and you watch them in 2D, you know, or even in 4K, when you watch them like that, they may look good, but you still feel like there is some magic that's missing, and this is what 3D gives us. 3D gives us the magic that we've all been waiting for, uh, that we feel like we're always missing in movies. So that's that. So that's the top 10 list anyway. Um... Yeah, that, well, that's for the full frame movies anyway. Next week it'll be Letterboxd, then the week after that it'll be uh, IMAX. You're going to see a lot of movies within the same genre. So you're going to see quite a few Disney's, quite a few Marvel, quite a few sci fi and whatever, and fantasy. But that's just because these are the ones that seem to be quite good. Now I know what, I know what one person is thinking. I know if Roger sees this, he's going to be like, where was Sammy? Sammy Sammy was in my top 10 favorite full frame movies. But, damn, Madagascar slightly pushed it out of the way. I don't know how, but yet again, I think it's how Madagascar started with 3D. It's as soon as you load the movie... You know, Melman's face, when he's like old Melman, it's sticking straight out of the screen at you, while the rest of him is further back into the screen, you know, and it it's incorporating that feel, like if a giraffe was standing far away from you, it, its head could still reach you because of how long the neck is, and I got that feeling straight away, and just by that, I felt a little bit more towards, it was a toss-up between Madagascar and Sammy, and I love the Turtles Tale movies. They are still two of the best 3D Blu-rays you could ever purchase. Same goes for House of Magic. The House of Magic should have been in this list. But they're, they're still in my top 
top, at least in my top 20 favourite 3D Blu-rays. Both of them. But it's just... Uh, Madagascar 3 slightly beat them out. I don't know how. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and seen a couple of my videos, click the subscribe button down below. Show your support. I truly appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people. And I'll see you next time.